Hello, we're going to be doing some printmaking today, and we're going to print a pattern on a card. And I would like for you to send this card to someone in your family, or maybe a friend or neighbor who is feeling lonely. A lot of times, um, we need to reach out to other people and show them that we care, especially during this time when everybody is stuck at home and isn't getting to see all of the people that they love every day. So let's get started on making our own printed patterned card. The first thing I want to do is make sure that my paper is going to fit in whatever envelope I've found around my house. I'm going to go ahead and fold this one in half by lining up the corners at the top and bottom. And I noticed right away this is not going to fit. So I want to trace around my envelope with a pencil and I want my envelope to touch the folded side of my paper right here and then I'm just going to cut right on the inside part of this line so that it will slip inside my envelope so I'm really cutting it a little bit smaller than the envelope actually is so it will fit inside there So let's see if that fits. All right, that's gonna work out great. So I'm gonna put that aside for now and open this up. And this is where I'm going to create my pattern. So here are some things that I'm going to need today. I'm going to need some paint. I decided to use cool colors. Cool colors are blue, green, and purple. They sit next to each other on the color wheel, and I think those will look really good with my green piece of paper. And I also have some neutral colors like black and white. The paint that I'm using is acrylic paint, but you don't have to use acrylic paint. You could also use tempera paint. I just would not try to use watercolor paint. That's not going to be thick enough for this. So I decided to use a couple of different tools today. Um, that I found around my house. I'm going to use some q-tips, a fork, a little medicine cup because it has a nice circle shape. You could also use a toilet paper tube, a cork, or anything else that's a circle shape like a bottle cap from a milk jug or something like that. You could use a sponge. This is a piece of cardboard that I just cut some triangles out of with my scissors and it has a nice comb shape. And I'm also going to use a toilet paper tube that I just kind of pressed into a point and pushed down here to make a heart shape. And then I put a rubber band around it. So hopefully it will make a heart shape for me. I'm going to go ahead and start making a pattern with what I have. I think I'll start off with the blue heart. I'm just going to dab it in a little bit of my paint. And I want to make a pattern today. So I'm going to do a row of blue hearts, but I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between them so I can put something else there. Then I might go back with my Q-tip and add three little green dots. All right, let's try something else. Let's dip this cardboard comb in here and do some dots printed along the card. I'm going to try my medicine cup. Maybe this time I'll do an AAB pattern. That means I have two things that are repeated and then something else that's different, like the fork. Well, I guess this one is actually A-A-B-B. A-A-B-B. What kind of pattern do you think this line is? If you said it's an A-B pattern, you're right. The hearts are A and the dots are B. 
A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Let's make something else for this last row. Let's do heart, cup, lines, heart, cup, and of course I ran out of room for the lines. I think I'll go back in here with a eraser from a pencil and maybe add some details to these little circles here. Or maybe a cross in the middle of this one. And that's it. That's how you make a printed card. Just make sure you let it dry before you put it in the mail. This time I'm going to try to make a card that looks like there's a flower on it. I'm going to use my medicine cup on the inside. And my heart for the petals. And some dots on the inside. cardboard for the stem. <laughs> 